go to the main event we talked about before. Katie Taylor, the undisputed lightweight world champion, defending her belt against Karen Carabajal, 19-0 mandatory challenger, owning all the belts in the division. The mandatory pops up every now and again. You have to deal with it. This time, it's a dangerous one, an undefeated fighter. Of course, people talking about what might be next, Croke Park, the Serrano rematch, the big undisputed fight next week. Alicia Baumgartner moving up to lightweight, but more importantly, Katie Taylor must take care of business this weekend as we go back to the scene, as I said, of her professional debut. The opponent, Karen Carahabel. Karen, welcome um, via your translator. A massive opportunity for you. You've been looking for the opportunities, undefeated fighter. You fight probably the toughest fight in the whole entire sport in Katie Taylor, but ready for the challenge on Saturday. Sí, bienvenida en primer lugar. Obviamente eh, has trabajado mucho por, para tener esa oportunidad. Eh, eres una boxeadora invicta, pero quizás tienes la pelea más difícil en el, en el mundo de, del boxeo, también el deporte femenino. Pero listo, ¿no? Para, la, para la, la, el reto del sábado por la noche. Bueno, sí, estamos preparados. La verdad que es una gran oportunidad. Estamos muy agradecidos de, de que nos den esta chance, ¿no? Eh, uno siempre sueña con un título del mundo. Eh, y nada, esta oportunidad frente a la número uno, la, la mejor boxeadora, la verdad que para nosotros es soñado. Eh, trabajamos muy duro, son años trabajando para que una posibilidad así se dé, pero cuando nos, nos enteramos, eh, nos enteramos más a conciencia, trabajamos más duro. Y nada, eh, yo siento que estamos preparados para, para este sábado. Yes, obviously, it's, uh, we've been preparing for a great opportunity like this, and I have to say thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity. It's always like a dream that you have when you go into the sport to, to fight for a world title, and I'm, face I'm facing, obviously, the number one in the sport. And as soon as we found out that this opportunity uh, had arisen, then we're working even harder. But, you know, I feel like we've been working hard enough to make us ready for this opportunity on Saturday. And, Karen, in, in boxing, when you become an undisputed champion, you take years to acquire the belts. You have to win one after the other. But when you face an undisputed champion, one victory can give you every belt in a division and just change your life forever. And that moment is upon you on Saturday. Sí, obviamente, cuando entres en el deporte de boxeo, para llegar a ser in campeón indiscutible tienes que ganar los cinturones uno por uno, pero en esta vez tienes la posibilidad de ese golpe de poder ganar en una sola pelea todos los cinturones y te puede cambiar la vida, ¿no? El sábado por la noche. Sí, la verdad que uno cuando sueña un título mundial sueña con uno y después ir ganando otros, esto es una posibilidad que nunca nos hubiésemos imaginado, pero bueno, estamos concentrados y trabajamos muy duro para, para ganar la pelea, sobre todo, ¿no? Es, eh, es eso, es la pelea y hacer lo mejor para que el, el sábado salga todo bien, las cosas salgan como las venimos trabajando y poder llevarnos los cinturones. Yeah, of course, obviously when you um, dream about getting an opportunity for a world title, you normally think about getting just the opportunity to fight for one, and then you go acquiring the belts. But in this case, you know, it's different, and it's a, it's a possibility that we could have never imagined. But once we did get this opportunity, we feel like we're really focused and we've been working hard, and we know that we have to go into it just as if it was just one other fight, and doing the best that we can to make sure that we do well on, and win the fight on Saturday and take home the belts. Thank you, Karen. Katie? I know you're never a fan of, of, of these press conferences in the media and you're probably bored of me telling a story in public about how we met and the journey that we've been on, but amazing to think that, what, six years on, I guess nearly seven years on now, we're returning to the scene of your pro debut where everyone sort of couldn't really understand what was happening. You know, you were headlining the card at Wembley. Everyone was very curious. There was a lot of resistance as well. And just amazing what's happened. But another very important moment for your career on Saturday night. Yeah, absolutely. I think every fight at this stage is a, is a, a big fight. There's no such thing as easy fights at this stage of my career. But it is great to be back um, at the scene where it all started. Uh, I don't think we ever I would have imagined six years ago that we would be in this position and um, headlining the likes of Madison Square Garden. Um, Becoming, um, you know, uh, bring him in his box enough to where to where it is right now. It's been a phenomenal six years, and um, and I still really honestly believe that the best is yet to come. I watched back the ring wall the other night, and obviously when you're just a few steps behind you, it's difficult to sort of see, you know, the, the sphere of, of of what's going on. It was a, a, an unbelievable moment. I've never seen you do that before. You soaked it up. Mm -hmm. I mean. That moment, how as a fighter do you keep motivating yourself after 
know, going through those, those epic moments of everything you've ever dreamed of, to still have the same hunger, to still come back in fights that you're expected to win comfortably, to train in the same manner and be as focused as you always are. Yeah, I don't find it difficult at all to, motiv to motivate myself, to be too quite honest. I understand the challenge that's ahead of me. Um, like I said, there are no such thing as easy fights at this stage. She's, she has everything to gain in this fight and nothing to lose. These fighters are always very, very dangerous. And um, I'm just looking forward to, to showcasing what I can do again on Saturday night. The training camp has gone brilliantly. My mindset is still completely the same uh, as it ever has been. And uh, I just love the sport. I'm, I'm still as passionate about my sport today as I, as I ever was. And, and that's where the motivation comes from. And people, as they inevitably do, because they, they love to talk in, in general, but talk about, oh, is Katie Taylor on the slide? And then you produce the performance of your career at Madison Square Garden on the moment where it mattered most. Mm -hmm. Plenty more in the tank from, from Katie Taylor. I know you've got yeah. huge aspirations still in the sport, but you take this challenge very seriously as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I really genuinely believe that people haven't seen the best of me yet. And, uh, um, I'm looking forward to, to showcase that the best is yet to come from fight after fight. I, I don't live in past performances or, or past successes, but I, I do genuinely believe that uh, uh, the people haven't seen the best and I can't wait to showcase that. And finally, I remember the debut, we were trying to convince people to come. Now we have a big crowd yeah. on Saturday. You've boxed all around the world. Obviously, it's great to return back to London as well. Dreams of Crow Park as well, but looking forward to a great atmosphere on Saturday and yeah. keep this journey moving. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, it's, it's great to, to headline another huge show and to have Liza on the Gary on the, on the bill as well. It's fantastic. Um, I used to train with Gary for years on the, on the amateur boxing team, so it's great to be sharing a card with him. And the likes of Ellie Scotney as well, uh, ph phenomenal talents, and the, uh, the key commentators, George Jordan Gill, just an amazing uh, card overall. And I'm just so excited about this fight on Saturday night. I can't wait to step in there and um, produce another great performance. Well, thanks, Casey. I know you're the queen of humility, but I think everybody knows that you are the reason that we're sitting here today, not just the boundaries that you broke in the amateur code, but also in the professional code as well. Every young fighter, every female fighter should be thanking you. You're an unbelievable ambassador. We look forward to a great performance from you on Saturday night. Thank you all. This is an incredible card on Saturday night. As we said, the professional journey of Maisie Rose Courtney begins two great young prospects in John Hedges and Jordan Reynolds, and another one in Johnny Fisher and his incredible travelling fan base that we'll see on Saturday night. Tremendous domestic fight in the light heavyweight division between Thomas Whitaker Hart and Mickey Ellison. A great fight between uh, Cully and Belmedi. Ellie Scottney against Romero for the European title. Tremendous fight. Jordan Gill against Kiko Martinez. Could be fight of the year. And the legend of the Sport returns. Katie Taylor defends her undisputed world championships all live on the zone around the world. We're going to have head to heads up here. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you at the weigh in here tomorrow and Wembley Arena on Saturday night. Thank you.